Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is David, I'm your host. Today we're going to be dealing with adding text to AutoCAD. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the like button, and please comment. We've opened up the comment section. We have them closed just because we didn't think these videos would get as popular as they are. Um, and we'd like to thank you guys for that. So please leave a comment. It really helps us get in front of more people. So again, like in today's video, like I said before, we're going to be dealing with adding text to AutoCAD. It's very simple, very easy to do but there are issues when you do try to adjust it sometimes, so just bear with me. Um, I'm, li I'm recording this live and I'm not gonna edit anything. Uh, so we're gonna do that. So here we go. So go to your drawing that you wanna add text to. I'm just gonna go to my floor plan one, just my normal one. As you can see, I've got text in here. I've got my 15 by 15 shed thing here, you know, front elevation, right side elevation, and I'm gonna show you how to do this properly. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go and click on up here, you're gonna see there's your text thing. So before you click text, you're gonna see annotation. And I have a text style and I've got it set to annotative. If you do not have this set to annotative already, I recommend you do it. It makes life a lot easier um, for most cases, but there is ways you can adjust it and make your own text styles. And we're gonna go over that in a moment. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, make sure that's set to annotative and then click text. Um, you're gonna see that you're gonna have a little ABC on your cursor if you can't see it and it's all the way and you're like zoomed out and you're like, well, where is it? Just zoom in and you're gonna see it's gonna get a little bigger. Um, so just click down where you want to put your text and then draw a box for how big you about you think you're going to need. So I'm just going to do one about this big. I'm not going to need much. It's just a test. And then you're going to see, and then you're going to have a, a bar show up where you're actually going to input your text. Uh, so in this scenario, I'm just going to type out, this is floor plan. Now you're going to notice my text is red. Um, I don't want my text to be red. So I did this on purpose so you can see how you can adjust text later. So just type in floor plan and then I'm just gonna click escape and it's gonna say, do you wanna save your text changes? Yes, I do. And I have my text right here. So you're gonna notice that my text, if I bring it down to my drawing and I scale it to my drawing, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's, it's the size I had before. Uh, you know, it's annotated. This is also a drawing I've worked on before, so it will it, it kind of fits with it. Um, but the issue is it's not white. It is, it's red, and it's the same style as my dimensions. I don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the floor. We're going to click on, sorry, not the floor plan. We're going to click on the text, and there's a few ways you can do this. So right-click, click Properties, and your properties th your property bar will show up here. Once your property bar is, is, is has shown up, you can edit everything about your text. So in here you can see that it's that's on a layer, you can edit the color. I'm gonna change the layer. I'm gonna look for if I have a text one. Uh, let's see. I do not have a text block, so I'm just gonna leave it at zero. And I'm gonna turn it white. So just, again, find your layer that you want it on and then make it that color and stick it there. Another, type you, another thing you can do here is there's the line type scale. So in the line type scale, if, as you can see, we're just gonna move it from one to two. I'm gonna click enter. And, and all it does is just change the line type. So what we're gonna do here is go to, you know, you can change um, you know, the styles and everything in here. This actually doesn't really matter. I should have said that before I changed it. Um, you can see that nothing has really changed. Um, so, you know, I go out, I click it. And, and that's it. So line weight, obviously, we, we, we're not gonna really deal with that. Um, th skip 3D visualization, not dealing with that. Um, and then the style here is what really matters. So you can see that I have a standard style and an annotative style. This matters if you're not using annotative and you wanna use your own style. Um, you can also, again, select all this before you write the text. If you forget, again, I'm just showing you that it's easy to edit. Um, you know, it's annotative, one, two, yep, yep, justify. You can change the justification so it can be in the center can be in the right. You can see that it's moving as I go through the list. Middle left, middle center, middle right, bottom left, bottom center. And that's that's all, for me it doesn't matter because it's only a single line, but if you have multi-line text then this does matter because it'll be like the top, the middle, or the bottom. So I'm just going to leave mine as top left. Uh, direction, you know, it's either by style, vertical, or horizontal. As you can see it changes. I always leave it as, sty as by style. It's just the easiest thing to do. Um, you can change the paper text type. So if I change this to five inches and I click enter, you're going to see my drawing, or sorry, my text is going to increase in size. This is very important when you're trying to see, okay, well, how big is it in comparison to my drawing? 
how is it working in comparison to my drawing and this is one way to do it another way you can do it is you can just scale the text um, I'll show you how to do that too but this way I recommend doing this way if you're looking for precision sizes because it really lets you get really precise so like I can go to two point um, let's say 75 inches and it'll automatically adjust it for that so we're just gonna leave it at 2.75 which is two and three quarters of an inch um, you know you can you can match orientation it says match orientation we're not going to deal with that rotation is like you know obviously it deals with rotation it's how much it is up I'm just leaving that as zero right now sorry leave it as zero I just did the wrong thing um, but you can see how you know if I go to let's say 75 it'll rotate at 75 uh, degrees so you know you can rotate it do whatever you need to for it you know you can also rotate it by just rotating it again I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute and there's a whole other variety of tools you can use you can adjust the position of it down here so you can we're not going to deal with the z position we're only going to deal with x and y so you know i have it exactly where i want it i'm not going to adjust it but if you know the exact coordinates of where you want to put your text this is where you do it um, the properties bar is your best friend never forget that it's always useful uh, if you don't want to deal with that and you're just like well i just want to scale it and make it look kind of okay I don't need it to be so precise. So what you do is you just type in, so get out, press escape, so that you're no longer editing the text. Type in scale, and then select your select your um, your text there. Press enter, and then it'll ask you to specify a base point that you're gonna scale from. So I'm just gonna click the corner of my F, and you can see that it's scaling that like in relation to how far away I go, like we do in normal with any other scale. Um, again, this can be edited within the properties thing after you adjust it if you're like well well that's way too big go to properties adjust it it'll be fine so just go here click and you'll see that it's a little bigger that's all we needed um, and for rotation it's the same thing you just type in rotate select your object press enter specify the point you want to rotate it and you can rotate it freely um, however which way you want you can do it down you can do it up you can do it any which way you want uh, so it's it's very useful you, again you don't have to edit it in the properties but this is just a way to do it. Um, so that's that's kind of how you do it. Uh, if you want to scale it smaller, if it's too big, you can type in scale, and then you can just uh, click your base point, and and you can sh you can actually shrink it. So if you go within the text itself, you'll see that it scales. It, the scale is smaller, so I'm just going to shrink it just to show you, and and that's pretty much it. Um, there's one thing I would like to note, and that is dealing with your text styles. So if you click on up here, click on the annotation bar and then go to your text style. I've made this mistake before. Do not click on the dimension style or anything else, just the text style. Um, if you click on the any other the, any of the other ones, you are going to be editing um, your dimensions or your leaders. Those are things that I believe I went over in the dimension video, but in this video we're just going to deal with the text. So click text style and you're going to have this um, modification style pop-up. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna, to, you can you can copy and create a new one. So I'm just gonna click new and I'm gonna call it test style one. You can call it whatever you want. Um, click okay and you're gonna see that I have test style one and you can adjust everything about it. So let's say I want it italic or I want it bold and italic or I want it bold. Um, I'm gonna do bold and italic. Um, and again, you can set it so that it is also an annotative style and that is indicated by the blue type looking triangle thing over here. I don't know what it's called, but that means that it's annotative. As you can see, when I click off of annotative, it, it takes that away. But if I turn it on, it's like that. Um, so I'm gonna turn it off for this and I'm just gonna set a height of let's say five, well, I'm not gonna do five feet. I'm gonna do six inches. Um, you can make it upside down. You can make it backwards and upside down. It, it's pretty much whatever you wanna do. For the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to leave it normal. Uh, and you can also adjust the width factor. I don't recommend going higher than one. You can make it two, you can make it three. As you can see, it's making my thing look absolutely ridiculous. Um, so we're just going to leave it with one. You can change the oblique angle, you know, make it five, six, seven. Uh, just, just don't even touch it. Um, so I'm just going to do zero. And then once we're done, we just look at it. We're like, okay, well, that looks kind of good. It's, again, this is just a preview. It doesn't show you how it's going to look on your specific drawing. But, you know, it gives you a good idea of what's going on. So we're just going to click here. We're going to go, okay, well, I don't even have to apply anything right now. Uh, we're just going to click close. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to select my text, my test style for my text style. That was confusing. 
So anyways, click test style one or whatever you named it, click your text and then click it down and then type something like test style one. As you can see, I did not change my layer again. So I'm just gonna go change that for a second and there we have it. So this is exactly what I wanted. If I right click and click on properties, you're gonna see that it's six inches text height. It's my style, it's everything I put. It's, it's exactly how I wanted it. So that's how you make your own text style. That's how you adjust text styles. And you can also change this when you're editing the text. So one thing to note is when you're editing, it will not edit everything. It will only edit the ones you select. So if I change the text type to 10, then my text style has not changed itself. It is still gonna be set to uh, six inches for what I wanted. It's just for this specific text height, it's 10. Um, you can always change it back, you know, well, I did 65 there for some reason. Click six and there you have it. So that's your t style and it will not change. So again, if I change this and, and I go here, I click 10 inches and then I go and I create a new text, it's, it's, it's not gonna, again, I need to change the layer. And again, I put a space, so it's gonna ask you this, doesn't matter, click yes, do this, go up here, change it to zero. And you're gonna see that the text height is still set to six inches. It is not the 10 inches that I adjusted in the previous one because the, the um, text style only deals with new things you're introducing into the drawing. It, it does not change everything in the drawing, but there is a way to do that, but we're, we're not gonna get into that for this. So that's how you make text styles. That's how you adjust text styles. And that's how you make it easier to do. You can do anything you can with a style and a text um, that you can with like, you know, dimensions or anything. Um, it's just, you need to be careful when you're editing it and stuff. Cause I know this is something that I struggled with when I was learning AutoCAD. Um, and I know there's a lot of people who struggle with text styles when they're trying to figure it out. Um, so that's pretty much how I do it. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment, send us an email, check out our website. We'd love to help you out. Um, thanks for tuning into this week's episode. And in next week's video, we are going to deal with setting units in AutoCAD. That's a highly requested video we've been getting feedback on uh, that people want to see, getting emails and stuff. So we'd like to thank you for giving us you know, feedback. Thank you for your support and thank you for tuning in and helping our channel grow. Um, again, please share, like, subscribe and help us out and we'll help you out and we'll keep doing these videos for you. Until next time, see you next week. And yeah, thanks for tuning in.